Hey there everybody, uh, I'm Phil Healy from NORCAM, the Public Access Coordinator. I'm here with the uh, Little School Playground Committee, uh, an organization that started up uh, pretty much a little under a year ago to uh, put together a playground for the uh, e e Little School. So uh, if I could introduce you ladies uh, one at a time from uh, my left to right. Sure, Elena DeAngelis. Linda Emery. Jennifer Vant. Oh, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, Thanks, thank you. Us. Yeah, we've been trying to. No problem. Yeah. We've been uh, getting this together for a little bit, and I think it was back in April or May I contacted you guys, and yes. we've been getting this yeah. together. And I thank you guys for coming in. Um, Thanks for having us. So, if, if whoever down the line, if I can ask, what is this? Or what is your organization? What are you trying to do? Well, we're part of the little school PTO, mm -hmm. and last September, Mrs. Molly, our principal, had asked us the PTO to put together a special projects committee so that we could undertake the project of creating a new playground. The existing playground is about 20 years old and too small for the little school's current needs. So we banded together and been working diligently ever since to get it done. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. So uh, you guys came together. You were the select three. They're like, okay, you guys. We have others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. We're the lucky one. Big committee. Yeah. Yes. yeah, well, how big is your committee? We had about 15 people, plus oh, we okay. worked closely with the fundraising committee as well. Oh, what other, uh, just a, a separate fundraising committee within yes. the, the school department? Right. Or? We work together. Oh, cool. Within yeah. the PTO. Oh, within the PTO. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, because uh, for anyone who doesn't necessarily know about the PTO, the PTO is a parent-teacher organization. Right. That That's is. right. So uh, consisting of X amount of teachers and uh, parents? Right. So it's um, roughly 50 parent volunteers, oh, and wow. so we work together to... Um, identify needs of students, teachers, and staff, and um, work with Mrs. Molly especially, and try to um, help fund certain things that aren't in the school budget yeah. or um, provide special events oh. for the kids. Oh, that's great. So, and you, how far along are you guys, or where are you at this moment? Well, we're doing well. We started off with about thirty-one thousand that the PTO had from the previous auction and various family events, and now we've just crossed 72,000. Wow, that's, yes. that's great. Yes. So how did you, uh, how are you getting to this number? What are your methods, what do you, and, and what do you like to do with it, and what has been successful? Yeah. Well, we, um, we really wanted to try to incorporate everybody in the community in different ways. So um, initially we did uh, a big mailing in November and December to businesses, little school families, alumni, anybody with any connection to the little school essentially, and um, just asked for donations. And then after that we thought, well, you know, maybe some families in their budget don't have a lot of discretionary funds, but they do try to budget for some family entertainment, family night. So yeah. we had um, a family bingo night that was a big success, and so families came could buy pizza, had bingo, and it was a great uh, event for camaraderie in the little school and proceeds went. Oh, was um, that you? At, um, I think I remember because we cover the board of selectmen meetings and school committee meetings. I think there was an event at um, Teresa's Prime or was it somewhere or one of the old... Uh, that may have been the Hood School auction. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was at the most. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and so we've also, we've done the town-wide yard sale. Yeah, which is how I uh, kind of <laughs> came in contact with you guys. Right. As right. a yard sale rat myself. It yeah. actually was, uh, it was, uh, how was that for you? It went very well. Yeah. I think we raised 2500 Oh, wow, you had two locations. Yeah. Well, that is great yeah, for yard sale. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. And then a Lots family matched the yard sale proceeds oh, so it ended awesome. up netting about five thousand dollars which was tremendous yeah. so and you guys said earlier uh, before we started recording that you that the response has been pretty overwhelmingly positive so We've if you want to touch pleased. on yeah yeah you want to touch Just on that businesses a little bit. in the community and families even not little school families um, softball families that play at the little school mm -hmm. have supported us as well mm -hmm. so it's been really nice right. that's awesome and yeah. for me personally something that um, was very touching is that both the hood and the batch had mm -hmm. their own fundraisers and um, they raised eight hundred and a thousand dollars respectively for us awesome. and so we, you know, feel like there's such a tight-knit community in town, but then to see the kids come together to support their other kids mm -hmm. um, really, I think, is incredible and speaks volumes about our town. 
No, it's great because, I mean, one for all kind of attitude. And right. they know that, you know, every school, my uh, wife is actually a teacher. So we, I know okay. the rigmarole. I know, you know, you really have to, it's not all there. And you, everyone has to come together and do yeah, it. And right, it's right. great to see it happen. That's true. So what is next for you guys? Well, we've done a lot of research. Yeah. We interviewed three vendors and, you know, towards some different schools. And we surveyed the kids and parents on a design. So. Oh, nice. We're getting there. Yeah. And Jen has a picture of the design she can maybe show you oh, if cool. you want to see. You. Yeah, yeah, one sure. of the main components we're concerned about is that the sorry, no, no the, the current structure is not <coughs> it's ending it's um, approaching the end of its usable life. Yeah. And it's um, a pre two thousand and three structure, it's a wood structure, things were made out of different materials that aren't used anymore for various reasons. Yeah. And it's just really past time to update it. So, in fact, one of the structures was torn down this summer. Um, I'm involved in softball, and we play there over the summer, and it was there one day, and a couple of days later, it was <laughs> torn down. And uh -huh. Mrs. Molly, of course, informed everyone yeah. that the town felt that it was past its usable life and needed to come down for safety purposes. So they tore down. There's a small slide structure. So we basically just have monkey bars left for the kids to play yeah. on. Yeah. So this would be... Um, one structure in one area. Currently, what they had was one structure, and they had across the parking lot, and there was another smaller structure. So the larger structure was torn down. This structure would, will replace both. So we'll tear down the small structure. We need to grade retention walls, fences, stuff like that, all of which we've gotten estimates on. And a lot of the local businesses have been great, really giving us like at cost estimates, things like that. Um, but this playground is focusing on being ADA compliant um, as well as just being fun for the kids. So the um, surfacing is a synthetic wood fiber, which it's a, like a plastic mulch. And yeah. as it, uh, it's, it's placed in and it compresses, and as it compresses, it knits together and it becomes wheelchair accessible. So wheelchairs oh. can actually go right on this surface, even though it's not like a rubber surface. So it's just kind of like a malleable kind of sand kind of thing in a it's, way? It's a, it's a rubber mulch, but yeah. it knits so that rubber. wheels yeah. can pass over it. Oh, that's which great. Which would be, you know, great yeah, yeah. key for wheelchair, wheelchair accessibility. We have a music feature over here, which will be easy to roll up to for kids. The platforms are all set up, so um, kids that need help to get up on the structure, um, they're accessible that way. They have the hand pulls. Um, there's, of course, other issues when uh, with ADA compliance besides wholly physical. There's sensory issues. We um, have a roller slide. We have, uh, for motor issues, we have a suspension bridge. And the walking on the suspension bridge is really great for muscle tone and development. Um, this is 100% ADA compliant, compliable. It's called the merry go all yeah. And um, kids in wheelchairs can get on it. Kids of all different abilities are able to access that and spinning is a very important um, developmental um, process that kids need to have when they play. So a spinning feature was key. We have two sets of monkey bars, swinging is very important. And then climbing is by far one of the most important things for muscle tone, all different issues, as well as the most requested thing, I think, in right. the survey. Yeah. Yeah. I think kids so just want to climb. They it's love, just, kids love like to me. climb. So we have many climbing features. We have um, a spider web, kind of okay. like the one at Ipswich River Park. It's oh. called the OmniNet. Mm -hmm. It's a little smaller, but um, doesn't go to a point. But it can accommodate, I think, um, 20 yeah. to 25 20, children 25. at once. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's a small spider web, which is great for practicing before you're ready for this. Mm -hmm. There's a um, twirl, which is like a hurricane climber. Um, and we have two sets of monkey bars for swinging. Uh, a straight one and a circular one. So there's just a ton of features for kids of all different levels and abilities. And this is going to service uh, kindergarten through fifth grade right. for the little school. But the little school is also site of other activities such as softball. Yeah. Um, the entire youth program, which runs from preschool as young as two, um, there are children in that program, oh. all the way to ninth grade. Um, so the ki kids' siblings are always using the playground, so that will service even probably th through middle school age. Um, and also the JV and freshman team, softball town high school teams also play at the little school. 
the varsity did as well, but they'll be moving to the high school, I believe, this year. So their siblings and spectators. And so this will be seen by many towns as well because mm -hmm. the high school plays in, in the Cal um, division and the softball plays um, many towns, including Wilmington and Reading and just all different towns that come and will see this playground and get use out of it as well. Yeah, it's not just yeah. for the school. No, yeah. it's not. And Summerscape is usually at the little, it was at the batch this past summer, but I don't know if they plan to bring it back to the little next summer, but they'll have this as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's great for the town and great for, I mean, if you want to just bring uh, your kids or just who have down to, right. if you're in the neighborhood and you just want to play at uh, that park. Yeah, that's exactly great. Exactly right. Wow, so you guys, wow, you guys really have this further along than <laughs> I realized. I uh, didn't know as much, but no, this is great. So your next, uh, getting estimates and everything, that's where you are right now with everything? Right, well, we have an estimate. Mm -hmm. um, we just sort of need to think about the site prep in okay. terms of demo and excavating and getting mm -hmm. all that ready and continuing to fundraise. We've been very lucky with our fundraising, mm -hmm. yeah. like we said, um, mm -hmm. and we have a potential sign that we're going to display at the um, oh. structure. So for any donors over $250, um, they can have a spot on our sign. What we have here is a mock-up of the permanent signage that is going to be at the playground. And so you can see it's the Brianna Beninati Memorial Playground. And um, this was a little girl who was in the little school sending district who passed away. And oh, so the cool. original structure was um, dedicated to her in her memory. And so we you know, absolutely we're um, united that we wanted to um, have the new structure be, you know, in her memory as well. So that's what this is. And then you can see we have um, one, four, five different uh, donor levels. Yeah. And um, so we've just had tremendous support. If you just look, you know, somebody um, anonymously donated in honor of Mrs. McBride, who is a kindergarten teacher at the little school and we've had families donate in honor of grandparents then you have local businesses and you also have families there's the North Reading Girls softball so this oh, really gosh. is a great snapshot of um, all of the different type of community support that we've been receiving and um, you know it's it's really been a very positive experience for all of us involved to just have so much support. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that's yeah. great that you guys are maintaining um, that memorial uh, plaque, is it? Or is it, how's it going to be? Um, it will be a plaque. It'll, It'll be, plaque, be yeah. a plaque, a sign of yeah. some oh, sort. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. So just in general, anyone can contact you. Sure, absolutely. They, they give you, help you out in any way. They just go to littledetail.org. Yeah. And do you have a site, do you have like a PayPal thing set up there too? Does it go into anything? We do, or? actually. Oh, okay, good. PayPal great. PayPal or yeah. mail in a check. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, anything else, any number, or is that uh, just go to the website, you're good to go? Just go to the website, yeah. yeah. Or, call, of course, they can always call the little school, yeah. and uh, Lisa Tavoletti can give them the information as well. She's you cool. can also choose us as your Amazon Smile. Um, oh, yeah, what's that all about? Right. Yeah, Amazon Smile, uh, If you, you have to go specifically to AmazonSmile.com and not just to Amazon, and then you can choose a charity, and we're officially a charity there. And the money is is for the, it's little school e Ethel little school PTO and the money is for the mm -hmm. playground. Yeah. So um, any eligible purchase, uh, a percentage of it goes, and we just got a check from them. I think a few days it's ago. It's a small percentage. Yeah, right? small percentage. But I mean, the up. more people if, that, yeah. that yeah. purchase through it, the yep. hopefully it the helps. more money. <laughs> yeah, anything else, <laughs> right. and hopefully around uh, you know the holiday season. Like that'll help out, and I'm sure That's that true, get, yes. got you guys a bump last year. Or right. were you guys set up uh, with that last year? We were. Oh, okay. We were. We were. So yeah, and yeah. so any, even if you're indirectly going to give or you're going to spend money, please go to Amazon.com/smile. Uh, yeah. And is there any uh, anything coming up you'd like to mention or kind of plug that's coming up, like fundraisers in the next month or so? Well, uh, not that I know of. I mean, we will have a community build. Okay. Um, which would be an opportunity for parents and volunteers to come out and help assemble under That's the supervision great. of our right. vendor. Of course. Uh, but that actually <laughs> no will, renegades. Yes, yeah. That will save us about $20,000. That's great. Right. So yeah. the town can, literally the town can help with manpower yes. if yes. they can so monetarily. Be fun. Be fun. Yes. Cool. All right, uh, welcome back. We are now here live, well not live, but we're here in color with some lovely kids to talk about the existing park right now. So what can you guys tell me about the existing park at the Little School? It's a... Oh, go ahead. Here you go. Okay. Well, it's old and 
kind of rusty and usually there's a really, really long line for the monkey virus and sometimes you never even get to go on them. Oh. Yeah. What else? What do you think? Mm. You think too? You think it's too long a line? A little rusty? Yeah. The rubber is what? rusty and it's going to come off. It's going to come off? That's not safe. Or so not fun either. The wood on it, it's starting to chip so you could easily get a splinter. Ah. One of the nails are loose on it. Oh, nails are loose? Well, this sounds... You guys are painting a crazy picture of it. So you guys really want really want a new park, right? Right. 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 And you're excited that uh, the PTO and everyone's trying to get you a new one? Yeah. And yeah. It, would you urge people to help get you a new one? Yeah. So please, please help us get a new park. park.